Hey guys and welcome to the video. This video we're going to talk about our time in Phoenix, Arizona, but as you can tell Yvonne is not next to me because it's going to be more focused on fishing, but not the topic of fishing, of more of how I've started to enjoy outdoor fishing ever since coming to Arizona. So about three weeks ago we left Gila National Forest and we wanted to drive towards Phoenix because of because it's much warmer here and we wanted to find a halfway point because of the long drive so we stopped at this place called Safford. So we're going to go back to three weeks ago so you could see the journey of how we've gotten to here which right now we're in Tonto National Forest. So after we left Safford, we headed towards Phoenix, Arizona, and we were looking for places to camp. And one of the places that we found was Tonto National Forest, which is northeast of Phoenix. And there's this area in the center called Roosevelt Lake, which is where we headed. Hey guys, so we're in Tonto National Forest and we have one goal in mind while we are here. I bought fishing supplies and I'm trying to catch some bass. Because over here you could fish along the lake and then the campsites have a fire pit. So our goal is to catch a fish and then eat it tonight. We have this collapsible Zepco 33 telescopic fishing rod. We also had to purchase a fishing license so it was $55 for one year and we could fish throughout all of Arizona but I'm excited. I have fished before in New York. This is gonna be an exciting day for me. I'm very optimistic about it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Alright so don't mind my form here. It has gotten much better. During the first day, I was pretty unsuccessful. I kept getting it caught up. And then the second day, we found a new area by the lake and something funny actually happened. All right, so we are at the lake. You know, for the past two days, I've been trying to catch a fish. I've been trying to catch a fish. So I haven't really been taking the camera out because I have had no luck at all. Over there, family was fishing and they, you know, they left to go back to their RV or camp. And all of a sudden we just see like, one of the rods just trying to go into the water so i go over there and i reel it in and there was a carp at the end so yvonne went to go get the people and he, he didn't want to keep the carp to eat and we're like all right we'll take it so we have a carp for dinner getting the fire started back at the camp we were not prepared when we caught the fish we did not know the next so steps <laughs> Like this whole time we're like, yeah, once we get the fish, we're gonna clean it out. I looked it up. I looked it up before, but you know, whatever. It's different when it's right yeah. here. But like, once it was right in front of us, we're just like, now what? <laughs> so we bled it out and then we Googled and watched videos on how to scale the fish, how to cut the fins off and how to gut the fish. This is a first time for me and Yvonne ever dealing with that and we're very proud of ourselves. The adrenaline was a little bit high. It was different. It was so weird. God, I can't believe this. Watch out for the bones. It's good. It tastes like fish. <laughs> so we have the fish. We have mixed roasted vegetables. 
and then we have corn. We're gonna let the fire go, and then later on we're gonna have some s'mores. So we're gonna enjoy this now. So that was really exciting, but now we left Roosevelt Lake and we're heading towards another part which is called Apache Lake. And it's not too far from it, and it's along the Apache Trail, but unfortunately uh, the Apache Trail is closed off at the you know furthest end towards Phoenix. So we're just going to head to Apache Lake and we're going to spend a couple of days there. Hopefully I can catch another fish and we can eat, um, but if not it's just going to be a fun time regardless. and set up camp and I started to fish again. Unfortunately, I did not have any catches, but that lake was absolutely gorgeous. The next lake that we visited was Horseshoe Lake, which is located in the northern part of Tonto National Forest. Hey guys, so we are back at Tonto National Forest. We were looking for a campsite in Lake Pleasant, but we didn't like any of them. They weren't really next to the water and I'm really just trying to fish as much as I can while I'm here in Arizona. So we found this one over here and it's really dispersed. It's way more dispersed than the first two that we visited when we first got into Tonto. It has a giant fire ring. I have my fishing bucket right over here. So we spent the afternoon at the lake and then later on in the evening I switched the bait to live worms and that's where I caught some fish. Oh my god, babe! Yes! Yes! You did it! Oh! <laughs> you did it! Look at this monster! <laughs> you did it! It's so small. It's so small, we're gonna put it back. Oh, oh no, I god. caught a big fish! Oh. oh my god! You caught! It's a catfish! Oh my god, it's huge! It's a huge catfish! Oh my god, I lost it! <laughs> you gotta get it from the head! Oh my god. Oh. Look at the fish! I caught Yes! Yeah. So, we ate already, and then I came out to go get the fishing rod. And I caught this guy. It's a beautiful catfish. Good size, but we're not gonna eat him. Now I know it's only been three weeks since I started fishing, but I do enjoy the sport of fishing. I haven't been too successful. I've checked online, I've done a lot of research. It's a little bit difficult based on the season when you're fishing. And right now it's still a little bit cold. I'm still learning all of the things. I could actually show you all the stuff that I've purchased. All right, so first off I have live worms. Over here I have some bobbers, white and red one. And then I have a styrofoam bobber that has a little bit of a weight on the bottom. Here are the robo worms, which I have not been successful in getting any bites or catches on it. I have one which is just a straight tail, and then I have a pumpkin orange. I don't know what, what they're really called, to be honest. This one just, when you put it in the water, it wiggles. <laughs> Over here I have the compartment, and it has my lures and my hooks and my weights. I don't know the size of the hooks, to be honest, but this is the hooks. This is a rattle trap. It's a half an ounce rattle trap. This is a spinner bait, crank bait, which Yvonne chose this one. And it's actually my favorite one so far. I have another couple of 
crankbaits I'm not really a fan because it's really lightweight so I can't really cast these out too far so I also have some split shots and I'm not 100% sure what these are called I think these are called bullet weights all right guys so right now we are at Eads Wash which is a dispersed camping location about 24 minutes south from Roosevelt Lake. So I tried to go fishing yesterday, no luck, but there was some other person who was fishing and he caught a, a pretty big catfish more down towards the river. So that's where I'm gonna walk today. I'm gonna see if I could catch something. Let's head over there. So I think this is a good area. The water is pretty still over here. There's some coverings right behind me. So I'm just gonna go with something really simple, just worm, bobber, and we'll see how I do. Not getting any bites, but I'm gonna continue trying. I switched it up now because I lost the worm on one of the bushes, and now I'm gonna try and use a Texas rig. been here for about like 20 minutes no bites so I'm gonna go to another location now keep seeing a fish this is the second time I saw it but it's not going after my bait all right so I just switched to one of my lures I don't think the fish is too big and I think it's a little predatory so we'll see how it reacts with this it's not my favorite one but because I'm not too far I think I could cast it out there No luck here. I'm probably gonna head back towards the campsite and I'll try over there. All right, so we'll do a couple of tries over here. I'm gonna see if I could go towards there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. It's a small bass. I'm pretty sure it's a small bass. I got one. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh, right in the gill. Look at that. I think it's a small mouth. It's a small mouth bass. Got one. My first bass. So the lure that I said that I didn't really like caught my first bass. Now I'm gonna go and try and get another one. So after I caught the bass, I tried to fish for another one. Uh, and then I even went into my bathing suit so I could get more into the lake. But unfortunately, I did not catch another one for the evening. But we did put that on the grill and it was really good. So yeah, that's where we are right now. Um, gonna continue doing this along the trip. As the weather gets warmer, we're gonna still continue finding lakes, ponds, rivers, just because I personally enjoy staying next to bodies of water when I'm camping. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to follow our future adventures. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Yvonne's not here. Where is she? Wait! 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 Right here! Ha <laughs> ha!